Hi, this is Beth from 123homeschoolforme.com, and today I'm sharing with you our uh, Valentine's Day multiplication um, lacing activity. This is just a really fun way for kids to practice their multiplication tables without having to just drill flashcards, uh, but still achieving math fluency, which is so important. Um, so this activity is anywhere from first through fifth grade. So there's two choices. You can either print them in color like this, so it comes out red, and then you all you have to do is laminate it, just for durability, and then cut it out. Or the other one is in black and white, which if that's the case, you probably want to print it on like a color cardstock um, to get the red look. Totally up to how you want to do it. All right, so then what you're going to do after you cut it out, then you go through all these little spots here, and you're just going to hole punch them to give you your holes, so we have them all around. Then you need a piece of yarn, probably about 18 inches to 2 feet, something like that, and you tie a knot on one end. Alright, so then to do this activity, you can start anywhere you want to. So I'm going to start here. So 2 times 3, so you go down the hole, like this. 2 times 3 is 6, so I'm going to come up the hole that says 6. Alright, now I'm going to find another equation. I'm going to do 2 times 1. 2 times 1 is 2, and I find the 2 over here. Stick with me here. I'm going to keep lacing it, and I'm going to show you how this activity is self-checking, which is my favorite part. Here we have 2 times 2. 2 times 2 we know is 4. Again, by the kids repeating the equations as they're doing them out loud, it's going to help reinforce it, not just visually, but audibly. Uh, 2 times 10 is 20, so we go times down this spot, we're going to come up the 20 spot, 2 times 4 is 8, so we're going to come up the 8 spot, looks like my string is going to be a little too short, so make sure you make yours at least 2 feet. Um, maybe even a little bit longer. Okay, so you see at the front you end up with this fun, silly pattern. Now at the back, it's actually self-checking. See how each of these lines are going over a black solid line. So if you see any black lines when you're done, see we didn't quite finish it, which is why they are, but um, then you know you did something wrong. You see how you can see that? It's a really cool way for kids to be able to self-check um, that they know their things. And again, there's one of these hearts for uh, ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes, sevens, eights, and nines and tens. Um, so you can practice all the way up. Um, so again, this and other resources you can find at www.123homeschoolforme.com.